Hey guys, what's up? Today I want to make a video about Kingvention. This event took place for four years in London, but sadly this year it won't happen. Many many guests were present to the previous events and I would like to pay tribute to them today answering one question. If the special guest were a collector, which one would it be? So stay tuned, you are now watching the Hector Basho Show! Well, before to talk about collectors, I would like to talk about Kingvention a little bit. It was for me the very best event I went since ever. The quality of hospitality, the conferences, I've learned so many stories about Michael that I've never heard before. And the most important, I've met a lot of great friends there. Because first of all, fan community is about human beings. So I want to send a big thanks to the organizers. Okay, now let's focus on the guests. First guest in my list, Dan Beck. He was the president of sales and marketing at Sony Music from dangerous to history. One of his famous projects is the signature series CD. But he had also the idea of making the dangerous shorts films. That's why I want to connect Dan with that cassette from the dangerous shorts films. That one is from Korea, it's number red. On the back you can see the design of that cassette is really different than the European version. That cassette is quite rare today, but you can see it on eBay sometimes, so don't let your chance go. Then we have in my list Yoko Sumida Jackson. She starts her work with Michael with an appearance on the black and white video. She appears at the end of the video during the morphing phases and then she was on the Dangerous tour and she danced beside Michael during the We Make Me Feel song. So of course if Yoko was a collector it would be maybe that cassette from USA. As you can see, that cassette is in a long box. You may know that kind of boxes were made to fit perfectly besides vinyls in displays shops. Then we have Tom Russo, the technical engineer on Dangerous album. I can remember on the Kingvention, Tom showed us all the takes from Jam song. He explained us all the steps to create the song. That is why I've chosen to present to you today those two promotional CDs from USA. They are quite rare today. They are really nice. As you can see, they get a special cover with a picture with Michael Jordan. One of my CD have the original sticker. The other one doesn't get it. Those two promotional CDs are from USA and really expensive today. A little estimation of price, maybe 200 euros each. Then we have a guest all the fans know. This is Dorian Hole. He was vocalist on Bad, Dangerous and History Tour and he was also vocal director on This Is It. So today, if Dorian would be a collector, this would be maybe that This Is It box set from Japan. It's unopened, but for you, I want to open it and let's see inside what it is. You know that the Japanese products are my favorites. So let's open the box and inside the box you have the deluxe DVD edition in Japanese version, of course. And then you have a collector t-shirt from Japan too. Wow, really nice shirt as you can see. Discover the man you never knew. That box set is also hard to find nowadays. A little estimation, maybe 100 euros. Then we have one of my favorite guests. Daina Wagzat, the creator of the history statue. I had the chance to receive her in my room and I have to say it's really a nice person. It wasn't really hard to find an item with the history statue on it. Today I've chosen the special commemorative tool cone. That one is in gold version. There is also a silver version. I really like the packaging of that item. If you want to have one in your collection, it will be easy to find one on eBay. Next guest, Eddie Garcia. He was dancer on Bad and Dangerous Tour. I had the chance to participate to his masterclass 
class in London to learn the thriller choreography. He is really a cool guy. But maybe a thing that you don't know, he used to play the role of Spike in Speed Demon video. That's why if Hedy was a collector, it would be maybe the Speed Demon promotional 7 inch from France. That 7 inch promotional is really hard to find. This is not really common to have a French collector. As you can see, the cover is really nice with a great picture taken from the Bad Album. There is not a special track list for Speed Demon. This is only the same version as the album, but this is a real great item to get in a collection. Some people say that there is only 500 copies in the world, estimation of price around 300 euros. Next guest, this is Stephen Paul Whitsitt, the photographer from History Period. As you may know, I had the chance to have Stephen Paul Whitsitt here in my room and he told me incredible stories about Michael. Of course, if he was a collector, he would be the smile singer from Holland with a special Charlie Chaplin photograph on it. You know that single was cancelled few days before it was sold in the shops. That's why this record is really hard to find nowadays. If you want to get one copy, beware there is a lot of fake one. Little estimation for the original one maybe 1000 euros. Next guest, Saida Garrett. She was writer of two songs for Michael Man in the Mirror and Keep the Face. She was also vocalist on the Dangerous Tour. And yes, I had the chance to have Saida here in my room and that was incredible. Of course, if Saida was a collector, it would be a Man in the Mirror record. So today I've chose a mega rare item from Man in the Mirror. This is the Philippines 12 single. Many of the Philippines records have that big sticker. Philippines is a wet country, so it's really hard to find records in good condition. Estimation of price 200 euros. Another guest I had the chance to meet was Daryl Finnessy. Daryl was a vocalist on Bad, Dangerous and History Tour and he was also on This Is It. So if Daryl was a collector it would be maybe that one. This is a mega rare item from Japanese tour. This is a very simple item, but it is so nice. And why this is so nice? When you open it, you have a picture of Michael here. You have the glove of Michael there and when you turn the patch you have the hand of Michael handprint with his signature. This is the real size of his hand. It is so beautiful, don't you think? And on the back you have the famous logo Japan Tour 87. All the big collectors of the world want to get that item. This is a wonderful thing to get in a collection. Estimation of price 400 euros. Next one, Larry Stessel. He was the president of marketing for Epic Records. He told us at Kilvention a lot of great stories about Michael. One of them was about the triumph album on the original picture Michael was on that side but he wants to be on that one. So Larry decided to make the mirror of the picture to make the cover of the album. So if Larry was a collector it would be maybe the Triumph album. Here we have the Australian pressing of Triumph. As you may know the Australian pressings have a blue label with a epic logo but that one is not an epic pressing. This is the rainbow pressing. Look at that beautiful label. It's not common. Australian pressings are hard to find here in Europe. A little estimation of price 50 euros. Next guest was a really nice guy. I had the opportunity to talk with him at Kingvention and he sadly passed away a few years ago. It was Eddie Wolf. He was photographer on Bad and History era. I had the chance to get from him that great picture taken on the screen video clip. Eddie, you will stay forever in our hearts. Many, many thanks for the great work you've done. On the very first convention, we have the chance to meet Rob Hoffman, engineer and programmer on History album. One of his best stories was about They Don't Care About Us song. That is why I've chose to show to you today the They Don't Care About Us CD single from Australia. This is a really nice CD with a blue background and yellow letters. On it you will find my favorite version of They Don't Care About Us Track Masters Radio Edit. That one is really easy to find nowadays. Estimation around 30 euros. Last guest Jonathan Morish, president of communications at Sony Music in 1995. When he went to Australia to meet Michael during the history tour, 
he had the idea to make the Blood on the Dance Floor album. So if Jonathan was a collector, maybe it could be the Blood on the Dance Floor album. So I choose to re-show to you the mini disc of Blood on the Dance Floor. That one is the European version. As you can see on the reference, there is the letters EPC for Europe. Mini discs are really nice items to collect nowadays and not very simple to find. Little estimation for that one, around 50 euros. Well guys, this is it for today. Again, a big thanks to Kingvention to let us the opportunity to meet great people who worked with Michael. I really hope that you have enjoyed my video. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and see you soon for a new video. Bye bye! bye, -bye.